All right, thank you for calling us. Um, leave a message and then press the pound key after you're done. If you'd like to store a message with Tom, press 1. If you want to leave a message for Jason, press 2. If you want to leave a message for Veg, press 3. If you want to take a poop, press 4. If you want to play Nintendo, press 5. If you want to come over and play pinball, press 6. If you're going to go snowboarding, press 7. If you're going to hang out with us and watch TV all night, press 9. Sunday, 12 a.m. to see what you guys are up to. Uh, give me a call back whenever you get my message. I was just going to be probably lounging around the house all day trying to figure out what to do. All right. Talk to you later. Sunday, 12 a.m. Remember how, like I said, I went to my college snowboard camp and I had my whole way paid and they wanted to send me to Mount Bevo. Actually... <laughs> I just rode at Love and Pass all the time, and, like, I just, like, would film, and then when I would label the film, I would just put Val B's on there to, like, trick you. Let's go, boys! Fedge. Let's go snowboarding, Fedge. It's time to go ride. I know your shoulder ain't hurt. That is a lot. It's time for you to slip and slide. It'll be fly. Come on, Fedge. Let's ride. Wake up, Fedge. Later. The world's finest surfers showed up today to battle with what turned out to be the biggest waves that hit this coast since 1946. Hello, everybody. I'm Stu Nahan, and I'd like you to meet this young man. His name, Jeff Spicoli. And Jeff, congratulations to you. Things were kind of rough out there today. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Stu, I did battle with some humongous waves. But, you know, it's like I told the guy on ABC, danger is my business. Okay. You know, a lot of people expect that maybe Mark Cutback Davis or Bob Jungle Death Chirac would take the honors this year. Oh, those guys are bad! That's fantastic. Let me ask you a question. When you get out there, do you ever fear for your life? Well, Sue, so I'll tell you, surfing's not a sport. It's a way of life. No hobby. It's a way of looking at that way and saying, hey, bud, let's party. Wow. Where'd you get this jacket? I got this in the network. Let me ask you a question. What's next for Jeff's before? Oh, I'm headed over to the Australian and the Hawaiian Internationals. Me and Nick are going to wing on over to London and jam with the stones. <laughs> you guys are the funny fools. <laughs> It's disco night tonight. Call Fatty. Call Fatty. Sunday, 12 a.m. If you're a fucking moron, press zero. Sunday, 12 a.m. What do I press if I say, yeah, let's go ride and then get stoned or something and then, like, drink some beers and grill and then party hard tonight? What button do I press then? Huh? Sure. Sunday, 12 a.m. Yeah, um, uh, I want to play pinball. And I want to watch TV and hang out with you all night. So I don't know what number to press. Maybe you can call me back. Three three one seven. Bye. Sunday, twelve a.m. Sunday, twelve a.m. Hey, Jason, world traveler and uh, adventure renowned. This is your mama. I think you're probably home by now. 
I hope everything was just absolutely fantastic. We are going to be leaving for the lake. Oh, by the way, this is, what is it? It is Wednesday, May 24th. Yeah. And we're going to be leaving for the lake uh, because the church is shut down, electricity is turned off. Hallelujah. For three days. And uh, I'll be back Saturday evening and then, of course, Sunday and then back to the lake again. So, at any rate, I'll be catching up with you and uh, uh, love the uh, answering machine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Bye-bye, dear heart. Sunday, 12 a.m. Hello, this is Julie calling for Fudge. Um, you're not a... Um, oh, well, I don't really know what I have to say. Um, is there any way, I'd like to say goodbye. Is there any way that, um, you're going to drop Brian away to work tomorrow or not? Um, Tanya has sold her car, so, um, whatever. Um, if you could get back to me, that would be great. Okay then, bye.